Description I wear cap. <laughs> 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 Description I wear cap. <laughs> 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 Show, starring Lucille Ball, co-starring Vivian Vance. before it gets hard. Oh, yeah. Chris is always monopolizing the bathroom. What takes her so long in there? Oh, you know how teenagers are. If they're not washing their hair, they're rolling it up or taking it down or trying out a new style. Yeah. Or brushing it or spraying it or washing out the spray. Yeah. Or rolling it up again. <laughs> you think she'd come out of there once in a while just to give her roots a rest? <laughs> Well, one good thing, while she's in the bathroom, at least she's not tying up the phone. Oh, can you imagine what would happen if we had a telephone in there? Good heavens. I wouldn't see Chris until she was old enough to vote. <laughs> Chris! Oh. I better get out in the kitchen and wash this off. Yeah. Chris, are you ever coming out of there? Well, what are you two doing? Is that you, Aunt Lucy? Yes, it's me, Aunt Lucy. This is a facial mask I'm wearing to make me look pretty. Gee, Mom, I thought you looked prettier without it. <laughs> well, thank you, honey. <laughs> well, what's come over you two, washing in the middle of the day? We're going to the Y. So? They frown on filth. <laughs> well, I see somebody beat you to the annex. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Lucy, do you think it'd do any good if I called Chris's boyfriend and had him call her? And while they're talking on the telephone, I could rush into the bathroom and stake out a claim in the name of the great unwashed? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. Mom, we're going to the Y to play basketball. Okay, darling. Okay, Jerry, here you are. Now remember, be sure and take a shower before you come home. Do we have to? Yes, you have to. Bye. We do frown on filth. Bye. Bye. Take a shower for me. You know, Viv, one bathroom is just not enough for five people. Of course it isn't. It never has been. I'm just going to have to install a second bathroom. Oh, now, Lucy, we've been over all of that before. You just can't afford it. Well, there's just one thing that we're going to have to do. You and the boys and I are going to have to come out every morning, jump in the car, put the top down, ride into Danfield, and go through the car wash. <laughs> That's a thought. Hey, you know, I could just put in a shower instead of a whole bathroom. That way it wouldn't cost so much. Yeah, but Paisley the plumber would still charge you plenty for the labor. Well, I'm going to call him. Maybe he's having a sale. Maybe so. <laughs> you know, we wouldn't even have to tear down a wall. We could put the shower in that closet in the boys' room. Hey, you better wash off that facial mask. Why? Because in just a few minutes, you're going to be ready for Mount Rushmore. <laughs> okay. Now, don't use all the hot water. Oh, I won't. What? That much to install a shower? Mr. Paisley, if you don't lower your prices, you're liable to bring on socialized plumbing. <laughs> well, good day to you, too, Mr. Paisley. What'd he say? Just what you said he would say. Boy, these prices. Apparently, the only way to get clean is to be filthy rich. <laughs> hey, 
You know, if I bought the equipment and had a friend install the shower, it wouldn't cost half as much. If the friend you have in mind is who I think it is, that friend thinks you're out of your mind. Viv, I wouldn't ask you to do a thing like that. Thanks. You don't know anything about plumbing. <laughs> who did you have in mind? Good old Harry next door. Oh, now, Lucy, we can't ask Harry to do anything else for us. We're always imposing on him. That's not imposing. Harry enjoys doing things for us. It feeds his ego. <laughs> it seems to me that by now his ego would be as fat as a horse. <laughs> well, where are you going? Over to Harry's. The sooner he starts on the shower, the sooner we'll have it. Oh, Harry, hi. I'm sorry. It's all right. You just dented my bumper a little. <laughs> Where are you going in such a rush? I was going over to see you. Forget it. I'm not there. Ah, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> You're funny, Harry. <laughs> what did you want to see me about? Oh, well, what'd you come over here for? To invite your lovely girls to lunch. Oh, great. Come on, Lucy, let's get dressed. No, we can't go. Why not? Well, don't you remember, Viv? I was going over to Harry's. Don't you remember? I was going to invite him over here for lunch. You were? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, she was. She was. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now, you just sit down, Harry. Relax. Get nice and comfy. And I'm going to make you your favorite dish, Eggs Benedict. Hold it. All right, Lucy, what do you want me to do? <laughs> Whatever do you mean? I have learned from bitter experience that any time you offer me anything more than a peanut butter sandwich, you have something you either want repaired, shoveled, lifted, or taken out of a trap and buried. Well, that just shows you how wrong you can be, Harry. Oh, Harry, you have such a suspicious nature. You mean you just want me to have lunch? I don't have to do anything? Not a thing. Oh, well, thanks. Unless, of course, you'd like to show your appreciation by installing an extra shower for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I knew it. Install a shower. That's a big job. Well, Harry, I don't mean for you to do it now while I'm fixing your lunch. I mean, do it next weekend. Couldn't I just have a peanut butter sandwich? <laughs> Harry, it's a snap. Come on, Lucy. I'm no plumbing expert. Oh, you're so modest. You know, you're a whiz at fixing stopped-up sinks. Well, that's a lot different than installing a whole shower. I can't do that by myself. Oh, well, you'll have help. Yeah, who? Well, um, come in. Uh... Hi, Tootsie. Hi, Eddie. Eddie. Hi, Lucy. Hey, we were just talking about you. <laughs> you were? Yeah. How would you like some eggs, Benedict? Yeah. How would you like some eggs, Benedict? Oh, that'd be wonderful. Just marvelous. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. Hi, Harry. Hi, Ed. I want you to meet Joe Melvin. This is Harry Connors. How are you? Hello, nice Joe. Nice to see you. Boy, am I glad to see you. I just discovered I don't know a snake from a plumber's friend. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, where are the girls? They're out shopping. Why? My boy, how would you like to get out of this whole ugly mess? <laughs> Great, but how? I've got a plan. You see, Joe here is a plumber from Ridgebury. Buddy! <laughs> now, would you be willing to put out a little money to get out of installing that shower? Is it under a million dollars? <laughs> I'll give you my rock bottom price. You got a deal. All right, my boy, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna tell the girls that uh, Joe here is an old friend of ours who'll do the job for nothing. Then we split the bill, take the weekend off, and the girls don't know the difference. Is that good? Good, it's inspired. <laughs> <laughs> do you mind if I ask a question? Uh, no, go ahead. Why don't you just tell the two ladies the truth? Because they'd never go for it. Now. They don't mind us giving up our weekends or breaking our back, but they never allow us to pay you. After all, they've got their pride. Oh. Well, look, I better get to work. You guys started paying me the minute I walked through that door. <laughs> I'll show you where the shower goes. Yeah. It's in the closet in the boys' room. Now, Harry, remember, uh, we tell the girls that we meant to do the job with Joe. 
but suddenly you have to take a flight to Honolulu, yeah. and I've got a client in town from L.A. <laughs> and then we stay out of their way for the entire weekend. You got it? Oh, oh. I got to hand it to you, Eddie. I always knew you were clever, but you turned out to be positively crafty. <laughs> well, how's it going, Joe? Well, it ought to be finished in an hour or two. Good. Gee, you must be a good friend of Eddie and Harry's to let them take advantage of you like this. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Do you know how much a real plumber would charge for this? How much? Oh, I'd hate to tell you. You know what robbers they all are. <laughs> now, just a minute. Some of my best friends are plumbers. Oh, well, of course, there are good ones and bad ones. Yeah. What do you do for a living, Joe? Well, I'm... <laughs> well, what do you think I do? Well, from the looks of your sensitive hands, I'd say you were a doctor. <laughs> you guessed it. I can always tell. Yeah. <laughs> Ma, can we watch Joe? Well, you can if you don't bother the man. We won't. All right, sit down there and be quiet now. He's very, very busy, so be quiet. Well, there it is, Jerry. A shower right in our room. We won't have any excuse for not washing again. That's one of the most depressing sights I have ever seen. <laughs> hey, Joe, where's the bathtub? Well, this is a stall shower. There's no tub. This is different from our other shower. Then I can get out of using this one on a technicality. How come? There's no place to sell my bow. <laughs> Where does the water go out? Oh, right there. How come it's covered up? Well, you see, this is a test plug. It has to stay screwed on over the drain until the inspector okays it. Oh. What's an inspector? Now, now, now. I told you not to bother the man. Come on, downstairs. Why don't you go out and play or something? <laughs> well, how's it going, Joe? <laughs> Well, it would go a lot faster if you wouldn't keep coming in here every few minutes asking, how's it going, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Joe, isn't that shower head a little low? It's the standard height. Well, it looks a little low to my eye. I think it should be about five inches higher. Look, it's too late to do anything about it now. It's already in. Yeah, and the way it's in, Joe, that's a pretty sloppy caulking job. I'm not finished with it yet. Well, I suppose I shouldn't complain. After all, you are an amateur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing personal, Joe. <laughs> Say, mm. should you be using that wrench on that? <laughs> Just what do you suggest I use? Well, I think you should use that doohickey right there. You're liable to mar that hardware with that wrench. How would you like to do this yourself? Well, now, let's not get huffy. I'm not getting huffy. Well, now, for a doctor, you have very nasty bedside manners. <laughs> what would you say if I told you I was a plumber? <laughs> Well, if you are, you could fool the panel on what's my line. Well, it just so happens I am a plumber. You are not. You're a doctor friend of Eddie's and Harry. I never saw them before in my life. And the only operation I ever performed was removing a spoon from a garbage disposal. Well, if you're not a friend, why are you doing this? Because they're paying me. They're paying you? Where are you going? I'm quitting. If they're paying you, you can't quit. Lady, there isn't enough money in the world to get me to finish this job. Here. Wait a minute. What do you want me to do with this? Finish it yourself with a doohickey. <laughs> <laughs> What's he mumbling about? He just walked out on the job. Well, that's a fine thing for a friend of Eddie and Harry's to do. 
friends. He isn't even a doctor. <laughs> Who isn't even a friend or a doctor? I'll bet he isn't even a plumber. <laughs> Who isn't even a friend or a doctor or a plumber? Oh, I wait till I get my hands on those two sneaks. What two sneaks? Lucy, will you please tell me what you're talking about? I'll tell you later, while we're finishing the shower. <laughs> wait a minute. What do you mean, while we are finishing the shower? Oh, well, it won't be hard. It, well, there's nothing much to do but hang the door and put in the faucet handles. He was almost finished. Who was almost finished? The friend, the doctor, the plumber, or one of the two sneaks? <laughs> Go get on your working clothes and I'll tell you. Now, Lucy, I've helped you do a lot of things, but I draw the line at plumbing. Now, Viv, do you want to hear the story about the friend, the doctor, the plumber, and the two sneaks, or don't you? <laughs> Oh, the things I do to bring a little drama into my life. Get and hurry back. There. Now, that wasn't bad, was it? No, as a matter of fact, that was pretty simple. You know, I don't know why those two sneaks didn't do this themselves instead of throwing all that money away on that plumber. Well, I don't know why they didn't do it either, but I don't know why you're so mad at them for being willing to pay for it. We're willing to have them do it for free. Well, that's different. One's charity and one's friendship. <laughs> Besides, do you realize if they hadn't spent all that money on Joe, they could have spent it on us? You're right. They are a couple of sneaks. <laughs> hey, you get out and turn on the water main. We'll see how this works, huh? Yes, sir. Wait a minute. You better take this. I think it's going to be a little hard to turn. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Hurry up now. You know, this is the first time I ever saw 
a shower door that opens in. <laughs> what dumb bunny ever... <laughs> there! You put this door out backwards. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. There. I just, I just have to watch you every minute. Two cats are too busy for getting to put washers on faucets. <laughs> you know, that wouldn't have mattered if you hadn't been so clumsy and, and, and done something with that water main. Well, I wouldn't have broken the water main if you hadn't been too cheap to hire a plumber to come in here and finish this all shower. Right, all right, all right. Oh, that's a lady. We gotta get some help. Where? Well, maybe somebody will come by the house and save us. <laughs> Who, some door-to-door frogman? Actually, I came out ahead. Lucy, I want to tell you something. This is absolutely the last time I slip into my coveralls to be an apprentice on one of your dreadful little projects. <laughs> oh, now, these are things we're going to look back on and laugh at one day when we're old and gray. 
And from the way things are going, that may be next week. That we're going to have to plaster the whole ceiling. We, oh. Lucy, absolutely not. No. Now, Viv, listen. You have never learned how to plaster, and it's all you need to round you out, and you'll be a perfect Mrs. Fix-It. <laughs>